Hey everyone, Rose here, and if you're like me and prefer to keep things simple and not break the bank, I'm about to reveal to you some awesome tips and tricks on how you can upgrade your self-care routine without spending a ton of money. Let's get into it. One of the most effective ways to shed dead skin cells and exfoliate the skin is with dry brushing. Dry brushing helps boost circulation while encouraging lymphatic drainage. This supports blood movement, pending firm pressure is applied with each stroke. A helpful tip here is to exfoliate by dry brushing one to two times per week prior to showering and follow up with a nourishing cream to hydrate the skin. Dry brushing can also make the skin more sensitive to the sun, so applying a body screen before heading outdoors ensures your skin will stay protected. An oldie but a goodie for me is the Dove Go Fresh Cucumber and Green Tea Body Wash. It's got just the right combination of sweet and fresh scents, which makes me feel good inside and out. I feel like I'm doing something necessary for my body, which in turn makes me feel like I'm on my grown woman game. I also smell great and my skin is smooth to the touch. This particular Dove product is ideal for my sensitive skin as the scent is not too overpowering and doesn't throw off my pH balance. If I want a more therapeutic vibe, I'll trade out my Dove for some of my Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. The combination helps to ease body aches and pains and relax my mind. Adding rose petals to the bath really contributes to the spa-like experience, but it does so much more than just looking good and smelling nice. Rose petals are actually antibacterial and have natural astringent properties making it an awesome choice for skin hydration. Rose petals also help with acne-prone skin, breakouts, and help to detox the body. It's no wonder rose water products are popular during the summertime. Take a peek at the link in the description below for even more tips on how to utilize rose petals in your self-care routine. A beautiful charcuterie board really upgrades any bath routine, and I really hope I'm saying that word correctly. An array of fruits, cheeses, crackers, chocolates, and dips is a welcome treat, especially when trying to relax. And when involving a partner, feel free to make it a fun activity. Both of you can pick a theme for the board and take turns adding tasty combinations until your charcuterie board is complete. If you really wanna mix it up, both of you can create a board for the other partner and present it to one another prior to your bath. From there, you two can feed each other in the bath. And I think you know how the rest of the story turns out. Okay y'all, it's time to take your bath routine from basic to a little bit bougie. When coming home from a long day at work or just being out in the world all day, there is something so calming about lighting a good smelling candle. But how does lighting a candle help to relax your mind? According to the site meltco.com, the low light, soft illumination, and feel good scents from the candle are responsible for setting the vibe. For me personally, it's also knowing that I'm soon going to become involved in a relaxing bath or spa-like routine. So associating the lighting of the candles with a peaceful ritual further enhances my bath experience, and the same could absolutely be true for you too. My absolute favorite brand of candles is no other than Bath & Body Works, and I load up when their semi-annual sale hits. But tonight, I'm changing things up with the Allswell brand candle from Walmart. Be truly festive by purchasing scents that are in season. I find that doing so allows me to feel truly cared for and on trend. Spritzing a light fragrance in your space truly sets and sophisticates the vibe. Furthermore, certain fragrances can evoke positive emotions, lower stress levels, and improve your overall mental outlook. There are many benefits of listening to music, such as helping you relax, reducing stress, and even lifting your mood. The key is to find a station or playlist that has calming music. You can also choose a form of relaxation music like meditation tracks or acoustic music to help you unwind even more. If you have trouble falling asleep, this is a great way to ease into sleep. You might also want to consider using noise-canceling headphones. This will help you block out any other noises that might be bothering you. If headphones in the bath isn't appealing, you can use a waterproof speaker. 
so you can listen to music without worrying about water damage. My skincare system of choice is the Fenty Skin Line. This travel size package includes facial cleanser, fat water facial toner, and moisturizing cream. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out at the end of the video. To start, face cleansers are great for removing dirt, oil, and impurities from your skin. They're also much gentler than soaps, which makes them perfect for most skin types. You can find a cheap face cleanser set that suits your skin type. You can also test out a few different face cleansers to see which one works best for you. When choosing a face cleanser, look for one that has a low skin pH level and make sure the ingredients are safe for your skin type. All this information is generally located on the product packaging. Next, I add my facial toner with hyaluronic acid and tamarind. Unlike most toners I've used in the past, this toner is hydrating and truly calms my skin without burning or stripping. After using it for some time, I notice a drastic decrease in the size of my pores and my skin has evened out quite a bit. After I add the toner, I dab just a bit of the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream all around my eyes. The key is to press it into the skin as opposed to wiping or rubbing as that will only push the product around instead of your skin absorbing the product. After using this eye repair cream for a few months, I have noticed my eyes appear much brighter and smoother and more moisturized. I got this particular product from Target for roughly $13, but you can find it on Amazon cheaper. The next step in my skincare routine is to moisturize my skin. This is my favorite step because it finishes off the process with a light, clean scent, locks in hydration, and offers protection in the form of an invisible SPF. I follow this routine both day and night. This last step is optional and I typically do this when I want an extra dewy look. I add about three to four drops of the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum all over my face and neck. Everything I add to my face, I also add to my neck. This is awesome because it makes my skin pop. It's also pretty popular because it works for oily, combo, and normal to dry skin. In order to get my skin right, I have to pull out my newly favorite item, the Nivea Body Cream with Cocoa Butter and Vitamin E. I enjoy that this body cream is light enough to not weigh me down, but thick enough to make my skin smell good, feel smooth, and protected. For my feet, I use a thicker moisturizer to handle my rough heels, which is the Dove Intensive Cream. For my hair care routine, I only use one product in my hair and one product only, the Miel Mint Almond Oil. This stuff is everything. I usually purchase this from Target and pay about $15, but the oil lasts so long, the purchase is most definitely worth it. I've just seen this is offered at a better price on Amazon, so I've linked it below for you to take advantage of this deal as well. I've been using this for the past six months and have noticed amazing hair growth and improved hair health. Here's my super simple nightly process. I put just a bit of oil on my fingertips, probably no more than a dime size amount. Next, I massage my scalp anywhere from three to five minutes, working in small circles and working in an up and down pattern when I get to the middle and back of my head. Of course, this is if I don't have my hair styled. You'll wanna make sure that when you massage, you rely on the tips of your fingers, not your fingernails. Scratching the scalp could cause scarring and or irritation. After I massage the oil into my scalp, I finger detangle my hair. If I need a little help detangling, a wide tooth comb usually helps. Optionally, you can use a wide tooth comb to promote blood circulation by combing your hair from root to tip, allowing the bristles or tips of the comb to touch your scalp the entire stroke. Try combing in different directions to really get your scalp tingling. And in case you wanna know exactly how I get my hair styled, I typically go through a shampoo deep condition followed by a blow dry and silk press. Again, this is when I do not have my hair styled. So I'll typically go through the shampoo, the deep condition, blow dry and silk press process. However, if my hair is done, then I won't go through that process, of course. Things will be just slightly different, but I still tend to keep the process the same with oiling and massaging my scalp nightly. I reviewed a dry brushing product some time ago, so if you're in the market for one similar to the one I mentioned earlier in this video, check this video out here on the screen. I'm not sure this company is offering this product anymore, so I've linked a similar product in the description below. Make sure to check out this video and let me know how dry brushing works for you. If you'd like more in-depth info, I've included some very helpful articles as well as links to products mentioned within the description box below. Feel free to check them out once you're done watching this video. Then subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to lose weight, improve your self-care habits, and more. And don't forget to check out this playlist of my top videos for even more self-care goodies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.